Thank you. Good evening. Um, so no mic. Good evening, uh, Planning and Zoning Commission. I really want to thank you for your time. My name is Moan Hen, and I'm the director for Friends of Flagstaff Future. We're a local nonprofit organization to promote a livable Flagstaff, and that is actually why we got involved with this project when we heard about its proposal last October. We attended all of the developers' meeting. We read the staff report, and as some of you know, we've also been involved with the regional plan, both the 2001 plan and the new 2030 plan. I'm first here um, to remind the Commission, as, uh, as well as everybody here, that a rezone request is discretionary, meaning that the Commission and later our City Council act on behalf of us, the residents of this town. I've actually attended many um, Planning and Zoning Commissions as well as many City Council Commissions, and I'm just really overwhelmed and thankful for the amazing attendance. This is uh, a work week, and we've been here for about four hours. So obviously, people really care about this issue. Um, one of the things that we found is that this plan, uh, this proposal is not consistent with the old plan, the old regional plan. And since it's already been stated, I will just quickly uh, repeat that. Policy LU 1.9, promote quality design. We were really surprised to see this in the staff report as support for this development, where we actually pulled this out as complete contradiction, specifically sensitivity to the neighborhood character and context. Um, and HN 2.1, promote development of mixed-use neighborhoods. Again, we envision, and I think the regional plan envision mixed-use, that we have many different people in our community that can call this place home families, low income, young professionals, and of course students, but not a pool and um, a residential just for students. Expand the availability, availability affordable housing, NH 4.1, probably the biggest contradiction, obviously, um, this reduces affordable housing. Reduce negative traffic impacts in residential neighborhoods. No matter how way, no matter how you show, um, you know, the streets and the plans, if you add 600 cars into a residential neighborhood, that cannot reduce negative traffic impacts. It will increase negative impacts. And then policy NHN 2.5, preserve and enhance existing neighborhoods. Again, the character of stable residential neighborhoods shall be preserved. Obviously, we've heard that this is not the case. I actually attended a meeting on April 30th with um, representatives from NAU. Uh, the one that w Mr. Woods um, cited. And what we've heard is that the 6,000 student is not a goal. It's an exercise that NAU did, and that is also stated um, in our report, and I'm happy to share that with you. And that what we're hearing now is that we actually don't know when these students will come and if they will come. And so I really ask of you to put planning in planning and zoning and really reconsider this rezone request. Thank you so much. Thank you.